every now and then you find a gem on hugging face spaces in this video i am going to share with you a gem of a space called as hugging face sheets i think this is one of those projects which might have killed one or two ai startups out there this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel hugging face has just released this hugging face sheets where you can have ai powered spreadsheets with thousands of ai models meeting spreadsheets you can build analyze and automate your data using open source llms in one slick fast and simple app let me show you how it works because i think this is super amazing first up just go to huggingface.co and log in with your free account once you are logged in you just need to go to this space and i will drop the link to it in videos description you just need to authorize um, you know your uh, hugging face account to access the spreadsheet with just one click it will pop up just click authorize once you are there you can just start playing around with it you can even describe the data set if you don't have any spreadsheet you can create your own with a simple text prompt and they have given some examples or you can just simply select a file a spreadsheet or csv file from your local system so let me select a file from my local system you can either select it from your hugging face hub or you can go with your own computer so i'm just going to go to my own system and from there i'm going to select a small uh, finance related short file there you go so it also gives you what you can do here now this is my file i'm just going to click here and maybe i'll just make it a bit smaller okay how do i get rid of this let me click up okay so i have minimized the window and this is my spreadsheet where i have these columns with some of the segments like what exactly is the data about country product unit sold and if i scroll to right i have all of this thing here now one thing you can do for instance you can just click on plus sign at the right i don't think so you can see it let me make it a bit smaller so that it will fit on the screen my apologies okay so i have trimmed down the column just for the purpose of demo i'm just going to click on add column now you can translate these columns you can extract keywords summarize or do something i'm just going to say do something and you see it is on the very right hand side i'll just make it smaller it is asking me what i want to do so i can either translate into french or i'll just say describe the product and then i'll just keep it as is let's click here let's wait for it it is using you see it is using meta's llama 3.370 billion instruct behind the scene let's wait for it and it will start populating um what exactly is the product you see it is talking about Carte Kertera, montana and it is populating by itself and then from here for example if you click here you can just like it or not you can also click on search the web it will search the web another cool thing is for example um i'll just go here and then you can regenerate it or edit the configuration if you want but i'll just keep it as is you see it is regenerating it now how cool is that okay i'm just going to click on x here now again let me add another column maybe i'll say translate and it is saying translate english to french ensuring all that so this is the product column if you click here on this braces you can select any other column too but i'm just going to go with this one and then i'm just going to scroll to right i'll just keep it as english to french let's go with the french there you go so it has converted the product to this we can go with the, any other thing too maybe i can just call it prescription and in the next one we can just say okay fine i'll just remove yeah, column five i'll remove this with the column five and then you can just 
click here and you can see that it is now translating it in place how good is that and there are a lot of things we can do beautiful stuff okay so let me go back and we will play a bit more with it okay so now as i said earlier if you don't have your data in the spreadsheet you want to generate on of your own you can simply do it with a text prompt so for example at the moment it says climate related disasters or endangered plants and all that stuff so you can for example um, say you want to generate data about so for instance i'm going to ask it to generate a spreadsheet with three columns tracking my disastrous online dating attempts column one should be date activity column two should be this and column three should be damage cost include at least eight rows of increasingly ridiculous dating mishaps from spilling wine on myself to accidentally calling them by my ex name to showing up at the wrong restaurant in a different city i should have done the search the word but anyway let's see i will just use a model's own internal training so you see it is uh, creating the data set configuration it is populating data set and this is all free at the moment i'm not sure how long they will keep it free there you go it's all done how good is that and damage cost zero so if you look at that this is all the intelligence of llama 3.3 version which is quite good nice so i'm just scrolling through to see what it is doing it has just done this now another thing uh, i believe we can do is i'm just going to pick it from here if i drag it drop you see model is generating more rows this is one of the coolest thing i have seen with this one so let's see what it populates it with takes a bit of a time so it has read above it has gone there and it has generated a different stuff and then for example you can also i believe maybe i'll just drag it like this can i let me drag nope i can only do downward that is fine so like this it is going to generate it and then it is also going to generate this and look at the text which it has written it is actually quite interesting and then as i said you can simply add a new column and then you can let's say you can summarize this i'll just say date activity cite the web go to the right and then summarize and then there you go it is summarizing all the stuff so a lot of things which you can do as you can imagine so pretty interesting i'm uh, quite impressed by this uh, new sort of a you know very very useful utility i normally need a lot of uh, test data you know for my video so i might be using this space a lot and i will drop the link to it in video's description towards end let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are metrics metrics lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as a b tests for your marketing captions that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and i will drop the link to their website in video's description if you find it useful please like the video and share the content if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching